What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris. Today I want to talk to you about my new sleeping bag. This is actually not your ordinary sleeping bag. It's a brand new sleeping bag with some really cool new features that you don't really find on your average sleeping bag. So let's go ahead and talk about it. This is the Kodiak Canvas Z-Top sleeping bag. The sleeping bag runs about $250. To some of y'all that might seem a little bit steep, but I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, up here at Elk Camp, we've been having some really, really cold nights. And this thing has made the difference in me getting a restful night's sleep and not sleeping very well. So uh, this, this sleeping bag has been great so far. I've used it for about five nights, six nights. Each night we've been around 30 degrees or lower. Hey Roger, how cold has it been this week? 28. 28 at night? 23. 23 one morning. One morning. Yeah. 23 one morning. I'm getting uh, some feedback from my partners in crime over here. It's been down to 23, it's been about 28 to 30 um, our overnight temps. When it gets that cold, having a nice sleeping bag really can make a lot of the difference. So a couple of notes before we get into the specifics about this sleeping bag. Um, it is made by Kodiak Canvas. Um, they are folks that I love their tents. I've had two of their tents in the past. Um, great tents. They actually contacted me, said, hey, would you like to do a review on this product? They shipped it to me, overnighted it actually, got it to me right the day before I was leaving for my elk hunting trip up in northern Idaho, which is where I'm at now. You can get this bag in a zero degree bag and I believe a 20 degree bag. I picked the zero degree bag because I knew I was gonna be freaking cold. You can also get it in a extra large size, uh, extra large tall, which is what this one is, or you can get it in a normal regular size if you're small and not fat like me, um, or not tall. I am six foot tall. I weigh about 260 pounds and I fit in this. I have room to move, which is one huge advantage about this sleeping bag. Um, you know, some mummy bags, you just get in them and you feel like you're trapped. You're just locked into position. The advantage of the mummy bag is it traps that heat along with you. Uh, when you get a nice big comfortable bag, like a square bag like this, a lot of the heat dissipates out of the opening and it, they're not as warm typically, but they're more comfortable. So, uh, Kodiak Canvas went ahead and solved that problem with their Z-Top sleeping bag. So let's just get right into the meat and potatoes about what makes this bag different, and it's this right here. So this might not look like much to begin with, but exactly what it is is a, a flap that you can zip on and off of the sleeping bag. So if you wanna just use it regular, you can use it regular. It zips on, once you lay down, Put your pillow right here on this nice extra large landing pad area. Put your pillow down, you climb in, you zip up. I will demonstrate later. And then you flip this over you and it's weird as it seems and as weird as it sounds. I know, it just sounds weird. You stick your head through this thing right here. It's a nice soft little fabric-y opening. This drapes over your pillow and the sides of your cot or the ground, wherever, your head sticks out, your pillow's covered so it's not getting cold. Your arms, you can stick up above you, roll over on your side. Everything is under something. And it's super nice. It's really, really nice. One thing that happens to me when I'm out camping a lot is the spot on my pillow that my head is stays nice and warm. But if I wanna shift around a little bit and move my pillow, Put your head right there, and it's freezing cold because it's been in contact with all that cold air. This eliminates that. You can stick your arms up, you can roll on your sides, all that stuff, and it's all underneath. And what the Z-Top does is it locks in your heat like a mummy bag, but you have tons of room like a nice comfortable bag. So these zippers, like the zippers on most of your uh, Kodiak Canvas products, uh, the tents, that type of stuff, they are YKK zippers. These zippers are locking zippers. One of my pet peeves is when the zippers on my freaking sleeping bag, um, you know, if I move around, they slide down. So the zippers are locking zippers, so they just don't do that. They don't slide down. Um, but they're easy to manipulate when you use them like that. 
when this little tab is up in that position, they, they lock. So you cannot get that to go down. I'm pushing hard and it, it gave a little bit, but when it's up in that position, they lock. So you, you really can't get it to go down on accident. It might work itself loose a little bit if that flap goes, but overall, these are the best zippers I've ever used on a sleeping bag in my life. And I've used a lot of different sleeping bags. The outer shell is a cotton canvas. Feels really good, Extremely gonna be extremely durable. Like I said, I only used it five nights, so I can't say it's extremely durable, but uh, stuff that I've used from Kodiak Canvas before has been great and durable. Their canvas products are awesome, so I, I have a lot of faith in this that it's gonna work great. The inside is a nice, thick flannel. You get a uh, electronics pocket here so you can put your phone in here or something else and it'll be nice and close to you when you need it. Like I mentioned before, a nice big landing pad for the pillow um, up in this area and then the removable Z-top. The landing pad for your pillow also has a little pillow pocket where you can store a small pillow or you can fold up something like a sweatshirt or a pair of jeans if you forgot your pillow at home, which is a really cool feature. One feature that's kind of another nice new feature for a sleeping bag is this right here, these little toggles, or this little loop. It works in conjunction with the booster quilt. So I'm gonna go get my booster quilt in just a second, show you how that works. It's made of the exact same materials as this guy right here, the sleeping bag itself and it works in conjunction with the sleeping bag if you know you're gonna be in a really stinking cold um, area camping, it's what you're gonna need. This right here is the booster quilt from Kodiak Canvas. The same nice flannel on the underside, same cotton canvas on the upper, and one thing it has are these toggles. I've been using this, and this in conjunction with the sleeping bag has kept me super warm on these cold nights. Basically what you're gonna do, is you're just gonna lay it right over the top of your sleeping bag, like so. And you're gonna go to, you're gonna go to the bottom here where you have these toggles. So this toggle just slips right through, locks it into place. It allows it to lay over, which not that you really need it, but it can cover these seams so no cold air can get in there and kind of drape over. There's toggles in each corner. One thing that's nice is if it's a little bit warm, but your feet are cold, you just flip it down like that and have some ventilation up here. Unzip your bag a little bit, whatever. Down here at the foot of the sleeping bag, you're gonna see a really nice wide foot box. I mean, there's tons of room in here for your feet to spread. One, another pet peeve of mine in sleeping bags is when I can't put my feet up like that. You know, if they gotta be, you know, straight out or you gotta be on your side, it's kinda lame. So, nice big foot box. Another thing, if you want to, um, and your feet are warm and toasty, a little too hot, you can always unzip it from the bottom. And get a little ventilation out the bottom. So, it's always an option. Kind of cool to have a zipper down here and a zipper for the top as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and climb in and demonstrate how this sleeping bag works. You might get a better idea of what makes it different and actually makes it work. Okay, we're in our bag now. We're gonna take the zippers and we're gonna zip it up. Once you're all zipped up, you got your pillow on the nice big landing pad. Go ahead and uh, take your Z-top, stick your head through the hole like that. Flip this section over your pillow, have it drape over the sides from there, you're gonna be nice and freaking cozy because this is so comfortable. <laughs> you can roll around. You can sleep with your hand underneath the pillow, like so. And at, you can sleep with your hand underneath the pillow on your side if you're a side sleeper. And everything just stays nice and warm because the heat gets locked in with this Z-top. Very cool. I love this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably pretty funny watching me get into this like this. 
But just know that this sleeping bag has made a huge difference on this elk camp for me, not getting cold at night, getting a super good night's sleep, staying nice and cozy. It's the most comfortable sleeping bag I've ever used in my life. I'm not just saying that, um, it, it really is. If you're in the market for a new sleeping bag, check one of these things out. I'll have links uh, to all the information in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Hit that thumbs up button. See, here's my thumb. Thanks for watching. And thanks for getting out west with Chris. There you go. Yeah. There's the counter score. All right. Yeah, this is fun, guys. <laughs> So once, thanks the team, <laughs> tuck him in. So once you're all tucked in, <laughs> night night, Chris. Once you're all zipped up, you got your sleep. Uh,